Hey guys, DW Berman here with another quick video this week. I'm uh, working on actually a whole new tutorial for Lightwave 3D to sell at liberty3d.com. Uh, I'm using a tool in that from uh, Dennis Pontanier, the DP filter set. He has a note in there for uh, replacing spot. The name of the note is replace spot. Now, one of the things we can do with that is actually uh, move pixels around a bit. Like say we want, we have this image here, say we want to move pixels. I have this set up with a texture and an all, and I can actually just drag this over here a little bit to get some distortion into my image. I can drag it the other way to distort it the other way. So it's actually taking the input as it normally would be and pushing it based on the, the value. So um, I'm changing the uh, actually the color value of the null or of the crackle texture to give me this uh, to tell it how far to distort. And um, I also have it set up so I can actually scale up the null to scale up the texture. So we, I don't know if I'll use this for anything. <laughs> Probably not. Um, one thing that we that could be used for is uh, for doing kind of like a, uh, remember the old VHS tapes when you'd get uh, some flagging on the bottom? Or it would be this like extreme narrow band of stuff that was, yeah, kind of like that, but only on the bottom. So we could, you know, move it back and forth to uh, actually give us our little distortion. Of course, to do that, I'll show you how this is set up. Like I said, I'm not sure if this is actually going to make it into the actual course. I'll probably include the scene file even if I don't do a video, or I'll just include this video. What the heck? Anyway, here's the setup. I have replace spot here. I have an image into replace spot. That just goes in the color. And all the distortion magic happens down here. Uh, incidentally, I could just get rid of the replace spot and just plug it directly into the position. Well, not exactly like that, but, you know. I can plug things directly into the position on the node on the original image node but that takes away all the control I have for the position of the image itself so I'm doing it downstream in the replace spot node um, pretty simple setup here I have a the input or this would be the replace uh, or rather this would be the spot info node in older versions of Lightwave and this just gives us our normal this is what it normally looks like and that just runs into this add node and this add this other stuff is getting added to it now like I said um, oh and the item info is just set to my distortion control null so I have the position going into the foreground color which controls how much distortion and also rotation and scale just for the heck of it um, if I wanted to do that flagging thing I can actually do that I just need to because usually that was just in the bottom, I can set my fall off to, I think, 400, and I just get that narrow band right there in the middle, and I can move that down. Uh, oops, I went the wrong way. I want to move it down, not up, although I guess it does happen at the top of the frame, too, now that I think of it. It's been so long since I watched VHS, and I'm not sad about that. But anyway, we can, you know, animate this null back and forth to kind of give us our... Uh, our, our tracking is off a little bit on our videotape. So that's just a quick little video of uh, kind of some experimenting I'm doing. It's not, um, like I said, this might make it into the, the whole, the next tutorial that I do. But here it's on YouTube as a freebie, and thanks for watching. Thanks for subscribing, and consider buying the whole tutorial when it comes out. It's on making pixel displays or displays of things that just change color objects that change color entirely. Anyway, when the promo for that comes out, it'll make sense. So thanks for watching. Subscribe to this channel and uh, check out the stuff that I have for sale now at liberty3d.com. Thanks. Bye.